Folks here in green country are thinking twice about their safety. Sales of storm shelters and safe rooms are now going through the roof at a local business. Two News reporter Brianne Palmerini joins us live from Jinx to explain. Brianne? Well, this here is the display model for best storm shelters. Now, they and other storm shelter businesses have sold more storm shelters in one day than they have in one month. Their business is just through the roof. Just two days after devastation in Joplin, tornado sirens sounded in Bixby. The trees were blowing fiercely. Uh, the winds were blowing. It was uh, very dark, very scary, kind of eerie, ominous. Okay. Stephanie Houston gathered her family and her sister's family into their storm shelter in her backyard. We had two dogs, a fish, a salamander, about four cats, um, and seven or eight adults, you know, with children mixed in there. So we were all in there. It was a cozy Cozy little family reunion. The storm blew through without any major damage in Bixby this time. And you never know when it's going to be life and death. Which is why Houston's father, Bryce McLean, wasted no time and ordered another storm shelter to be installed at her sister's home. We can look at the devastation and tell why, you know, when these things come through the community. I mean, they just, they just devastate. The owners of Best Storm Shelter say they're having a hard time keeping up with the demand. You can't get off the phone. It just beeps in while you're talking to someone else. Someone else is beeping in. Orders are now backed up for months, but McLean says it's worth the wait. It's something you put off because there's no storm coming. You know, you, it's after the fact that you say, hey, I've got to do something and do it now. McLean and his wife don't have one of their own, but possibly soon. My kids first, then me. Now, an underground storm shelter like this one starts at about $2,500. Live in Jinx, Brianne Pomerini, 2 News Works for you.